The switch on your grinder both turns the motor on and off, as well as works with the electronic speed control to maintain the speed of the grinding wheel when it is under a load. After years of use, the switch will begin to wear, resulting in it turning on the grinder intermittently or not at all. Replacing a bad switch is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. I'll begin by removing the motor housings from the grinder. Now we can remove the switch from the electronic speed control. It's secured with a couple of plastic tabs. To remove the wires, I pull open the access cover. This exposes a series of trapdoor keepers. To remove the wires, I insert a small screwdriver and give it a twist, and the wire will pull right out. Now I can install the new switch. Again, I'll open the cover. And to install the wires, I now just simply press them into place. I'll place the cover back over the opening. And now I can install the switch back onto the electronic speed control. Now I'll slide the switch back onto the grinder. And I'll press the pins on the speed control back into the switch. Now I can reinstall the longer portion of the motor housing. It has two tabs in the front that lock into notches on the motor housing. I'll make sure that I have the switch actuator pulled all the way back. I'll flip the grinder over. And on this side, I want to make sure that I have the actuator lever behind the switch. Now I'll tuck the wires out of the way and install the smaller piece of the cover and secure it with the screws. And now you know how to install a new switch in your grinder.